Hello. Thank you for joining us once again for part three of the JTAG Live introduction. In this session, we will take a look at the JTAG Live clip module, a utility that can be used for sequential vector testing non-JTAG devices, often referred to as clusters. Clip is a low-cost add-on to JTAG Live that greatly enhances its capabilities and can be ordered from www.jtaglive.com forward slash products. In the preset example displayed, you can see that we have started to assign a selection of boundary scan compliant pins to logical labels. These indicate the inputs, outputs and enable lines of a 74138 decoder that we wish to test. I simply have to add the final enable before it is possible to create a set of test vectors for this device. In this case I just dragged and dropped device D500 pin 45 onto the enable lines. Clicking into white space below the labels allows me to select all of these into the vector editor window. Clicking again into the white space here allows me to add our first vector. As you can see, the default value of the, of the first vector is that all signals are set to R for read. However, since we need to stimulate this device, I need to set the inputs and the enables to write. Right clicking on the header here allows me to select set all write and the same on this column. In order to test this device fully, we need to copy and paste this vector up to seven times. We can do this in two or three steps. Now we must set up a correct input test pattern for the decoder by clicking on the header here. We can select, for example, a counter pattern which will fully stimulate the inputs of the 138 decoder. The enables are already set correctly at 100 and the outputs currently showing random logic values. Running the test through should enable us to capture the correct walking zero pattern from the outputs of the 138 decoder. Now that we've created this test pattern set, we can save this and use it to test subsequent boards. Thank you for taking the time to look at JTAG Live so far. Please join us again for part four, the script module demonstration. Thank you.